Good morning everybody, Nick from Eat Smoke Fire here for cook number 170, no I don't know how many it is, um, but welcome, it's been a couple of weeks, uh, we had a class, or well, two classes last week with Misty Ricardo, so thank you to Richard who is Misty Ricardo, um, the guys came on Friday and Saturday and had an absolute hoot I hope, um, all the feedback was good and we thought we'd do a couple of the, the dishes that we did on that class. Um, so apologies if all the people who are on the class are watching, um, but you saw it all live. So we thought we'd do a couple of those and another one that we've not really done before. So, um, but all snacky stuff. I know we promised to do everything on one egg, but it's just too nice to do a roast and all of that stuff. So we've been that off, plus it's been super busy this week. So. Um, yeah, we thought we'll save that and uh, we just go snacky bits because we've got friends hopefully over later uh, and then we've got lots of people over tomorrow because it's my birthday. Hooray! Hey. Anyway, right, who have we got? Taking this, we've got Andrea. Morning. Morning, Andrea. Morning. morning, in, morning. Not in the shorts yet, but she does no, promise to put them on. A little bit chilly. Yeah, it's, at it's the moment. up though, fast. Is, yeah. No RB73 today because it is warm. So we've got Helena and Mama at the bar as usual. Uh, Mama is on the red. Yes. Red today. Um, it was National Charcoal Day so I did consider grinding up some charcoal and making some sort of cocktail for her out of that this morning. But um, anyway, what the ever is National Charcoal Day? Thank you. What's a load of rubbish? Anyway, every day is National Charcoal Day here. We cook on outside every day. Right, three dishes and some. Um, so we've got, on this egg, we've got some wings tumbling away and I've put them in this basket, not the normal one I've used, the, um, just so you can see what's going on a little bit. Now we've coated those chicken wings with some flour, um, some rice flour to give it a bit of crunch. So it's corn flour, sorry, because that's supposed to crunch up nicely. Some rice flour which sticks and gives it a bit of crunch. Uh, a bit of garlic powder to give it a bit of flavour, a little bit of salt, and that's it. So just, just coated them in there, chopped them up, chopped them, chopped them in the basket, and they're tumbling at 180. We're going to make a Indian style sauce to go with those. Um, we're also going to make some samosas. We made some a few weeks back in pastry. Um, we're going to do in like normal pastry. We're going to, and I served some, who did we serve them to? Oh, um, uh, one of the other customers a week week or so ago we served some and they were like mm, they like the more crunchy so we're doing the more crunchy ones um, so we're going to do those in phyllo pastry rather than normal pastry uh, so we're going to do samosas slightly different filling for this one and then we're going to do some our onion barges because we love our onion barges and everybody who came last week seemed like it was the first time they'd ever ate them um, I know I should have done Misty Ricardo's onion barges, so apologies Richard that we did our own onion barges, but they are always a winner. So we're going to do them again, you've probably seen them, I don't care, they're that good, they're worth doing seven times. Right, so we need to get a filling ready to put in our samosas, so over here. Right, we have got a very hot egg, uh, so at 180-200, I've got a cast iron pan in there. I'm going to put a couple of tablespoons of veg oil in there and get in some seeds because we need to fry these off. So we've got uh, a teaspoon of, uh, two teaspoons in fact, of cumin and one teaspoon of uh, fennel seeds. So we'll pop those in and you should see these will start, start to sizzle quite quickly because that pan was hot, the oil was hot. Okay, looking good. What we want to do is just get those sizzling and then I'm going to shut this so we keep control of it. We have, sorry I should have taken all the cling off, uh, three, t three cloves of garlic, about two teaspoons of ginger and I just grated those, grated the garlic, chopped up the, the uh, chopped up the, uh, sorry, chopped up the garlic, grated the ginger. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be one of those days, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's going to be worse tomorrow when I'm. Yeah, I was going to say it's going to be worse tomorrow when I'm on the pop. Uh, we've got um, some coriander, some turmeric, some garam masala. So it's about a teaspoon of cor coriander, a teaspoon of turmeric, half a teaspoon of uh, garam masala, quarter of a teaspoon 
of black pepper and some salt, about a teaspoon of salt. So those are gonna go in. In here, I've got um, chopped up coriander, I've got chopped up chilies, because we want to give it a bit of a punch, and we've got Kashmiri chili powder. And then the last things to go in, some, and you could substitute, this, this is amateur powder. So it's mango powder, it's quite bitter. Um, if you don't have that or can't get hold of that, you can just use squeeze of lemon juice, sort of similar sort of thing, but this is quite nice. And we've got some mango chutney and some onions. Right, let's have a look at these. These have been bubbling away, they've done their bit. So I'm gonna go straight in with my garlic and my ginger. What we want to do is get this powder, this filling going. Oh, it is nice. The smells. I just love cooking Indian. So, garlic in there. While that's going, let's get our spices in. So you can fry those down a little bit. Now you could do this on the hob, um, but we haven't got a hob outside. We've got lots of eggs. So get those going down nicely. Right, let's get our onions in there. And then give that a few minutes just to uh, soften the and brown those onions a little bit. And then we'll go in with the other bits and bobs. I've forgotten to tell you one ingredient that's like sitting over there. And that is the potatoes. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit more oil in. You all right? So we've got a little pot and I part boiled these um, potatoes and then chopped them up fine and they're gonna go into our samosas. So, lush. So who have we got on, Helena? Uh, Nick Wood from around the corner. Morning, Nick. How are you? Uh, Sue Stoneman. Morning, Sue. Sue. Uh, Sue. Happy birthday for tomorrow, Sue. Oh, she's the same day as you. Yeah, she's the same day as me. Oh, happy, happy birthday, birthday yeah. Sue. <laughs> uh, Sue Quayle. Morning, Sue. Uh, she's she's stuck out in a garden because she's got no water, no electricity, nothing at the moment. So, morning, Sue. Oh, bring She's having a bathroom done or a kitchen done or some plumbing done or something. That may have been yesterday. Sorry, I'm doing it again, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> Bryn's Big Eats. Morning, Bryn. Uh, Mike Jackson, who's camping in Wales and says it's absolutely beautiful oh. today. Oh, can't Are you at the beach, Mike? Uh, David Ford. Katrina Kelly. Morning David, morning Katrina. Sausage barbecue meat sweet stuff. Oh I like that, sausage barbecue meat sweet stuff. M Golding. Uh, morning M Golding. Phil. Phil the Grill. Hello Phil. Hello Phil. Phil the Grill. Sorry Phil, you probably did this better than me last week because uh, he did lots of the cooking last week. I didn't do much. It's Rob great. Whitley, Boston barbecue. Uh, oh, this one ben Morris. Uh, Sarah, Blossom One, um, Blossom One, our yeah, Sarah. Sarah, morning our Sarah, Hello, Sarah. I'm going to put the potatoes in, uh, Jamie Vindis, morning Jamie, uh, oh Jamie Vindis, I know Jamie Vindis, uh, Henry Burnley, he is Mr Vindis, mm. uh, Chris, Andrea might know Jamie oh, yeah. Vindis, yeah. Andrea used to work for Jamie Vindis, <laughs> there you go, well, several Bens, the, <laughs> several Bens, yeah. Ian Silvo, Robert Lowe, oh no, Robert Tetlow, sorry. Morning, Robert. I'm going to get a drink while you're saying that. Just tell everyone what they're cooking. Mike is cooking up paella later. Mike. Mm. Jackson. Mmm. We love paella. We've got some anglet today. Haven't done anglet in ages. Anglet is a, it's a muscle. They come in two like parallel muscles, like tubes, and it's part of the diaphragm of a cow. Okay. And it's, it's just, they call it the butcher's butcher's treat or something. It's a muscle that you hardly ever get because the butchers tend to nick it. Okay. But it's really tender. You cook it really fast, really rare. Um, yeah, and we're gonna do it with some chimichurri later. Oh, nice. There you go, giving away dinner. Right, so we'll go on with the other things. I've got some frozen peas. Get those in there. I have then my coriander, my chili, and my, um, uh, Kashmiri chilli, which isn't too hot, but the little red chilies that I put in are. So again, we'll see how those go. So let's get all of those mixed up together. Um, these are all gonna then go into our phyllo pastry and get deep fried. Yeah. So I'll give this a couple of minutes. This is just our filling. And I've got, I'm just gonna add, might as well do it now, our amateur powder, which just gives it that like, um, 
acid it, acidy bit, and a bit of mango because everyone knows it's good to have a bit acid, a bit of acid, a bit of sweet. So that goes in. And get all that mixed together, and then I need it to cool really. So I'm going to take this off in a second, and then we'll move on to something else, and then we'll put these together. I think the heat of that pan is going to defrost those peas enough. I'm happy with that. And you know what I have forgotten today? Oh, oven gloves. Oven gloves. I haven't brought out a single pair of oven gloves. So while she's doing that, we'll go and get the other sauce ready. So, for our wings, and these are going to be good, for our wings we need to make another sauce. So we're going to make a, an Indian style barbecue sauce. So, I have lots of dark brown soft dark brown sugar so about five tablespoons of dark brown sugar um, i've got 200 milliliters of water so we're just going to dissolve all of this i've got um again cashmere chili to go in it um it's often used as red food coloring as well and then we are going to do this is tamarind concentrate now I'm going to try. I'm going to do four, and then see what it tastes like. Four tablespoons. It's unlike you to use a measuring spoon. Well, because tamarind is really quite bitter. I mean, it's beautiful, but it is really quite bitter. So I don't don't want to overdo that one. Okay. Um, so we'll just give it a stir, and then we're going to boil this down and thicken it up. So that can go back in the same egg. I'm just going to take this other one off. I'm going to put it off to one side. Let it cool down a bit. Uh, we'll pop our pan on. Of course, we're using our T fowl Ingenio pans. Just direct. Take the handles off. Genius. And we'll let that boil away. So that is going to be our sauce for our um, chicken um, wings. Leave those there. That probably need those. Right, so one last thing. What we do need to do is check our oil. So I'm, I'm guessing this is going to be a bit hot, but we'll cool it down with the barges. Um, so I can see, um, I want this oil to be about 200 degrees for our barges. It's, the egg is sitting at 160, so I'm guessing this is going to be a little bit warm. It is 218, 220. So what I might do is just take that out for a couple of minutes. Um, just an easy technique, if you've got your oil too hot, the quickest way to cool it down is just take it out. Obviously don't do this in flip-flops, crocs, you know. <laughs> oh, got a bit of tree in there, it's cooking away nicely. Um, so I'll give that two minutes to cool down, and then uh, let me fish that bit of tree out. I won't record to doing that. It's all right, let leaf. Bit of bamboo leaf. Right. So into those we are going to do our barges. So hopefully you're all keeping up. Any questions, Tom? Not yet. Okay. So in this thing, I have got two large onions that I've chopped up. I've got 150 grams of gram flour. So gram flour is a uh, uh, chickpea flour. You can get it from everywhere now. Sainsbury's, everything. Um, to it, we are going to add. Some, again rice flour so we use our thermomix to make this we just put rice in and just grind it um, you could do it in a mortar and pestle or you can buy it um, so some rice flour this will just give it that little crunch so we're going with rice flour we've got a teaspoon of salt we've got in here a teaspoon of cumin seeds and a teaspoon of fennel seeds and those through your barges will be delicious and then two chopped up green chilies. So all of those go in. So that's all our dry goods. I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit just to coat the um, onions. When you put the onions in, it's a good idea to squadge them. I didn't, so they're all a bit chunky, but you can squadge them in there, but we're gonna stir it enough, they should break up. And I think if I've, when we've made this before, I've told you, I, I had this on the side of the road in India when cycling over there and watched this guy make these barges. And they're, it's quite a dry mixture, but they are just stunning. So in with the water and then just give it a zhuzh. I've said it, Phil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Phil. <laughs> so Phil came last week 
and he and he said they were they'd got a bit of um uh bingo going on as to how long it would take me to say zhuzh and apparently i lasted until the afternoon i didn't say the word zhuzh until the afternoon yeah they were playing a game so the guys last week well the guys on friday some of the funniest people we've ever met they were just hilarious um they've been on a class before so it was really good to have them back um and then the guys on saturday again hilarious and then we had one person who was here on friday and saturday um because at lunchtime we still hadn't managed to get hold of him and he lives in the village and he totally forgotten he was coming so by lunchtime he did turn up uh, so he did the first day on first afternoon on Friday and the, then the morning on Saturday so, is he on? no uh, Bryn is on Bryn's on yeah Bryn was here on Friday and he said what about the, what about the yoghurt in the mix? you don't put yoghurt in your um... not in my barges no no, no yoghurt in my barges yeah in my tandoor in my yeah When you, I always use, um, they've got crinkles in them. Let me, I'll gra grab one, hang on a sec. There you go. And they've got little crimps in them. Yeah, so s pretend my finger's a bit of chicken. I push it through and then I bend it and then I push it out the other way. So the, the chicken is sort of bent on there. I tend to do a lot of um, thigh meat, but the little crimps will stop it falling down. I have, I've never found chicken falls off. So if you're not, just wiggle it through a little bit and that extra wiggle will, hold, will cause it to hold a bit better. Yeah, Try that. Lost, lost no, away. no. Right, I'm going to put this oil back on. It's probably... Yeah, 160 now. Too cold. It's because I put it on a stone floor. <laughs> in the shade. In the shade. Oh, I've got another piece of bamboo in there. Yeah, I've had I've had one or two people ask about that chicken. They, but yeah, just wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle the screw skewer through the chicken, um, and try not to make massive holes in the chicken. Just try and push it through and slide it up, not backwards and forwards. And you know, um, yeah, right. Yeah, I'll do it. And try and use chicken thigh. The thigh meat is so much nicer. Um, but yeah. So let's have a look at our wings while we're waiting for the oil to get back to temp now. Can you see those in there? Yeah. Yes. So they're just, oh, these are going to take about 45 minutes. They're only at, well, 60, 65, 75. Um, they went on about quarter past. So they've been in 30 minutes. So they've got another, another 10, 15 minutes. So th they'll be good. I'm just going to wash my hands. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah any other questions we did a lot of the chicken tikka um, so we did Misty's chicken tikka which is good uh, mine's pretty good too um, so we did a lot of that obviously in the classes because it was all in the whole thing was Indian but it was great fun right let's have a look at our sauce and see if we need a little zhuzh so someone has said that they put potato, so Ali Baird has said he puts a bit of potato on Yeah, I don't here. think you need to do that. But he then also says it then makes potato taste amazing. Oh, okay. Oh, a lot. Oh, maybe Ali, we need to try that. I'm liking that idea. Morning, Steve. Now, I'm going to turn this one up because this isn't going very fast. So, so we'll knock it up. I could lower it down nearer the flame, but we'll go with it. Right, we need to get a wiggle on and make some of these samosas. Come on, then. You Still warm. Them, you... I'm, well, we'll see. Go on, then. We'll you'll see. Out now. I'm going to take this pan over. Um, we all had a go at this last week. We weren't brilliant. Pardon? Uh, apparently, to Helena was really good. <laughs> she just told me. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone said mine looked lovely. Uh, yeah, I didn't say what it tasted like. Rude. Right. We're going to do them over here, Andrea. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. I'm going to get a spoon. I'm going to get. Now we're going to try and do it with last week's pastry, which might not work. I don't know why, but why we're trying to do it with last week's pastry. Not that tight, really. But it's been in a bag. So this is just puff pastry. Now if it all falls apart, we'll get another, we'll get some a fresh batch. But 
what you need to do. Uh, phyllo, sorry, yeah. So we're going to take a sheet of phyllo. I think we're going to be all right. It, do it dries out very quickly is what we've worked out. So hurry up. So take it, put it back in your bag and uh, put it in the shade, i.e. underneath and underneath something. Where's my knife? Right, what we're going to do, we're going to cut down the middle. In fact, I'm going to get it, put a little bit of water on it. I did this. Misty sort of, he sort of dampened the edges. I put quite a lot on and this might go wrong for me. Cut down the middle, so we've got two sheets. Yeah, I think we're going to be good. Right, I've got my spoon. I'm going to get a good dollop and put it at an angle across. So what we're going to do is take this corner. I'm going to come around. Okay. Come around the other yeah. Oh, sorry. That's all right. Take the corner, fold it over, and just sort of pinch it down. So you've got a triangle with your filling in. Then you're going to fold it down the length. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then you're going to fold it over your triangle again. Yep. Follow the path. And then down the length. Yep. I'll do one more. Fold it, fold it over, and then we're just going to cut off the, what, a bit of the top. Get it nice and wet, and fold it up, and just sort of seal it. So now we've got a semi-sealed parcel. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I'll put that up there. I'll do one more. I'm not going to make all of these on camera because oh, I might have got this one too wet, but we'll find out. So I can imagine Sue Quayle making these. She'd be brilliant at these. There we go. So, and then down a bit. Try not to get it too. Yep, back in the room. Right. So over. Sorry if we had a poor connection there. It's not you, it's us. And just keep over and fold. Cut the end off. Like that, and seal them. Maybe I should do two more while we're here. What do you think? I think so. Two more, so I'll put that up there. No, I'll do these, because we're just waiting for the oil. Let's see how we're doing with the oil. So many bowls back here. 180, practically, 185, practically perfect. Give that a minute, let's do. Now we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll do one more, one more sheet. So again, take your sheet, open it out. There's about seven in the box apparently. I bought about 17 boxes thinking there was only two in there. I don't know why I thought that. So we've got a glut of, an absolute glut of uh, phyllo pastry. Anyway. Sure, we'll work out something else to do with it. Um, there we go. Right, I'm going to put water on it again because I think that works. Just be gentle when you put the water over it. Um, you don't drag holes in it. Then cut it in half. Then get your filling in. Lift it up. Whoop. Lift it up. And get it over. Fold it. Fold it. Fold it, and I think the water then helps it stick together better, so nothing falls out. Pick it up, fold the end over, and just let it seal itself really. Last one, and then we'll get things in. So triangle. Oh, this one's not as pretty. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm saying that, that, that might be my best one yet. Tuck the edges under, so they're ready to go in. But what we're gonna do first is get our barges done. Because if the oil temp rises too much, um, those will burn. So barges will keep the temp down. So. With these, just give them a little stir. Zhuzh. You don't want too much. So what we're looking for, they're not going to be like um, Indian restaurant barges. Get about like a lump like that, and just gently what a great description. Get lower it in. And we're going to put four or five in there at once. So just gently lower them separately. 
Um, there was. People were worried they were going to fall apart. Again, that was our connection. Um, they don't. They just stick together. So just don't go too mad. Don't make them too big. And, put, and don't put too many in. Don't, no, five at a time. Yeah. Five at a time. That's, that's loads. And then you can see these ones at the front. Sorry, I'm leaning across you. You can see they're already browning up nicely. Get your lid shut. If you leave the lid open, the oil will get hotter and hotter and hotter. And it, then you won't be able to cook your samosas and those sorts of things. So let's have a quick look at our sauce, see if it's doing any better. Let me judge it with this spoon. Oh, yeah. What I'm going to do is take a tiny little bit out and just see how tamarindy, if that is a word, it's... That's fine. That doesn't... Whoa. <laughs> oh, that's lush. <laughs> Whoa, right, let's flip these. So, turn them over. Um, this is called a spider. Just uh, flip them over. Why are we getting a poor connection every time? You back? Yeah. Sorry, people. Something over here it doesn't like. Um, so, five in there. Uh, when you're doing this, have a bowl to put your spider in. Um, because if you get fat all over your kitchen tops, I learned the hard way last week, it takes ages to get off. <laughs> I was cleaning these tops for hours. I've got some in there. Look at me. She's yeah. pretty. Yeah, we're all good. Right. Let's get, we'll do five and then we'll do our samosas. Then we'll do our, our wings. And then we're good. Right. Another little flip. Look at those. Oh, they look so These are the best barges you're going to have. Doesn't like this. Okay, are you back, Andrew? Yes, yeah, are. sorry, so some, somebody's asked what charcoal do we use? Um, big green egg? Um, always. That's all we have. Uh, there's been some comments lately about the quality. Uh, I think if you get it posted, it can get smashed around a lot. If you can get to a dealer and pick it up, it'll be better. I buy it on the pallet load and don't have too many issues. Um, yeah, right, I'm gonna get these out. So they've been in five, stay back, Andrew, I'll show you. Okay. <laughs> so just pick them up in your spider, let them drain a little bit, pop them onto some paper towel. And those are looking stunning. Now I'm gonna make more later. But in the meantime, I'm going to put on our samosas. Now, you might want to look in at this, mm. if we can. Oop. So, put them on your thing. Lower them in. Oh, that one's a bit wet underneath. Put one on, lower them in. I'll see if I can get three in there. Oh, I've stuck this one to the plate. Oh, my days. The bloody smell amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I've stuck... Um, this one this is going to fall apart now so I've got it too wet and stuck it to a plate you need to put a bit of paper towel underneath but those three well, are right lesson learned yeah yeah this one is all filling falling out so we'll make some more now these you want the oil at 180 200 it's probably a tiny bit cold but it will be good they'll take a couple of minutes so in the meantime let's take these and put them on our tray These are going to be stunning. Now these are on the website. I will take another photo. What I like to do with them, a tiny bit of coriander over the top. Sorry, Andrew. Yeah. Make me run round today. So I'll just get some. Don't let me forget those. Okay. A little bit of coriander over the top. Just to prettify them. There you go, yes. that would be a good it's idea. Not like you're short of a few low, Yeah, we've got loads. Uh, I'm just going to put some mango on the side. Because these are so good with just a good dollop of mango. Right. I'm going to have a look at our sauce. Yeah. Looking good. Needs to boil down a bit. Maybe should have started that a bit earlier. Lesson learned. Could you get me, I'll tell you what we'll do. Um, can you get me a little bit of corn flour? Just to thicken it up. We'll cheat. 
that's our samosas, we're going to flip them over. And when we did these last weekend, Misty um, didn't believe about shutting the lid and it just got hotter and hotter and they were cooking in about two seconds flat. But love Lucy's idea. Was that Lucy McCarthy? Yeah, Perfect. How are you, Lucy? Anyway, right, two seconds on those. Let's have a look at our wings. Nice and golden. Ooh. Yeah, nearly there. What you can do is spike them, you see. Get the temp. Yeah, 95 on some of those. So they're ready and we're going to put sauce on. So I'm going to drag those off. I'm just going to pop them there for a second while I get ready. Um, Tell in the back. No, let's just go to these. I don't want to overcook them. Beautiful, lovely and golden brown on the corners. I'm going to take those. I've got another dish here for them. We'll load them on here. Perfect. You like this egg? No, I'm going to get a new whiffy. So, so, sorry, we've got a poor connection just here. I don't know why. Very weird. So I'll take these over here. I'm just going to mm. pop them on a bit. Of, I should have done that first. Just to let them drain a tiny bit. So they're ready. Got our wings ready. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of, um, of corn flour in here to thicken this sauce. Um, you're supposed to boil it down, but because we haven't got time, we'll just thicken it that way because we need to coat the wings. Ooh, this egg's hot. Oh, perfect. Can you see how it's already thickened up? Yeah, you can. You can it's sound as well. Yeah. Lovely. Right. Let that do its thing for a second. We'll get those wings. We're going to bring them over and put them on the uh, in a bowl. I've got a spare bowl. Let's see if we can get one of these out. And then we'll get some of that tamarind sauce over them. So this is a tamarind and chilli barbecue sauce. Oh, the smell. It's probably plenty. I'll put that to one side. Now, you could, instead of doing them uh, in the rotisserie you could do them flat on the barbecue but you just need to keep turning them or turn them once or twice my shell that's been on those that's just been fed isn't it where's the cleanest one I'm just going to leave a couple of these for the ladies to try while I load up you gent we'll get these out right so we have our lovely samosas Need to pat them dry, really. Then. Oh, crispy. We've got some samosas. We've got our wings with loads of sauce. Look at those. Oh, I'm looking forward to these bad boys. Oh, look at that. Being so careful, and then I lose one. So these have got garlic, they've got tamarind, they've got lots of sugar, they're going to be sticky, they're going to be sweet, they're going to be unctuous. We're going to get a bit of our coriander just to garnish. A little bit down by osmosis. I think that is good. Hang on. 
get rid of the sticky mess I've made. So it's getting the sunshine so you can see it. So we've got our uh, our onion barges. Oh, starting I'll start that in. Oh yeah, keep that. <laughs> onion barges, bit of mango. We've got our samosas with pea and potato and filling, and then we've got our tamarind chicken wings. Those are going to be good. Have you tried them? No, they're oh, they're too hot. So let's pop them nice. Is it nice? Lovely. Cool. Let's create a bit of space. Get these out of the way. Remember to take the photos today. Uh, we'll put the recipes up. Um, so the those are already up, those are already up there. Barges. The barges are up there. The samosas will modify a little bit, so it's our recipe a little bit. Or we'll sell you a Misty book. We've got signed copies of Misty's book, um, and um, we've got our tamarind chicken wings. Oh, they're going to be good. I'm going in. They're really hot. I want to. I want to just try. Let's just try. Oh, all oh, the kids are going to love those. Mm. Oh yeah, mm. sticky, sweet, not too spicy. No, nice one, mm. lovely. Oh, <laughs> right, put those out there. I'm covered now. Yeah, a bit of tissue. Yeah. Got a bit. So hopefully you've enjoyed that cook. Hopefully you're going to have a great weekend. Any other comments from anyone, Helena? Um, no, I don't think so. I think you've answered. So thank you again to all of you who bought stuff this week. It does help, no matter how big or how small. Um, I put in two lovely Kamado, uh, not Kamado, big for space. They used to be Kamado space. Big for space tables this week. One in, one in Cardiff and one in the Cotswolds. Oh, that was close. Um, we're putting another, we've just started doing these um, tables but with no hole in them. So you can just have them as a prep area. So if you've already got your egg or your Kamado on a stand and don't want to take it out, you can just have that next to it. Um, so I'm putting one of those in on Tuesday for some lucky lady in Kent. Yeah, anyway, hopefully you've thoroughly enjoyed those. We're going to go away and enjoy them. And no, Mama always throws the bones over her shoulder and they go everywhere. Um, we shall see you. Look at that, Best perfect. Neighbours have started cutting wood, so perfect time. We will see you in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, when is it? Mm. Mm, what's next week? I don't think we've got one next week. <laughs> is it not next week? Oh, no, she's got a mouthful. <laughs> I don't know when it is, when the next one is. Look at the schedule, it's on the website. Uh, we will see you then. So have a great bank holiday weekend. Enjoy the sun. Uh, tag us, we want to see what you're cooking. And we'll. Delicious. Yeah, see you soon. Cheers. <laughs>